Hello, this is Miss Tolman. I am here to help read through your lessons for you. Uh, if, again, if you have any questions, please contact Miss Joseph. We do have vocabulary that we start out each lesson with. So please have your notebook handy so that you can write down your fancy vocabulary. It is very helpful to have this vocabulary written down for later questions in your unit as well as later tests that you can study for. Here is our vocabulary. We have adjectival clause. It's a subordinate clause that modifies a noun or pronoun in the main clause of a sentence. An adverbial clause is a subordinate clause that describes or modifies a verb, an adjective, or another verb. A relative pronoun. It's a word that's used to introduce an adjectival clause. A subordinating conjunction is a word that's used to introduce an adverbal, adverbal or subordinate clause. Adverbial clause. Now that you can recognize subordinate clauses in sentences, you will learn the functions that subordinating clauses can have in sentences. As with phrases, clauses can act as adjectives or adverbs in sentences. An adverbial clause is a subordinate clause that describes or modifies a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. It answers the same questions that an adverb does. Where, when, how, how often, and to what extent. Here's an example. John stared at the apple pie as if he'd never seen anything so delectable. In the sentence, the adverbial clause answers the question, how did he stare? The adverbial clause describes the verb stared. Here's another example. After Candice finishes her green, me green beans, she may eat dessert. In this example, the adverbial clause answers the question, when may she eat? Adverbial clauses begin with subordinating conjunctions. Look at the table that follows the examples for common subordinating conjunctions. Look at the two following examples. Notice that each adverb clause begins with subordinating conjunction. If you keep, keep a consistent routine of running daily, your body will be in excellent physical condition. Before AJ began writing his paper, he used a graphic organizer to plan his ideas. Teresa always orders chicken parmesan whenever she eats at a restaurant. So here are some common subordinating conjunctions. After, although, as, as if, as long as, as soon as. Because, before, if, in order that, since, so that, then, though, when, unless, until, when, whenever, wherever, and while. Note. Some, after, as, before, since, and until, may be used as prepositions. Adjectival clause. An adjectival clause is a subordinate clause that modifies a noun or pronoun in the main clause of a sentence, in the same way that an adverbial clause acts as an adverb in a sentence. And an adjectival clause performs the same function as an adjective does. Note that both the adver adverbial and adjectival clauses are subordinate clauses and cannot stand alone as complete sentences. An adjective clause is usually introduced by a relative pronoun. Now here are some relative pronouns. <clears throat> Who, whom, whose, which, and that. The relative pronoun that is used to refer to people or things, which only refers to things. Here's an example. Mayavi is the singer who introduced me to Japanese rap music. In the example, who is the relative pronoun that relates to the adjectival clause to Mayavi? The relative pronoun is acting as the subject of the adjectival clause. Look at the following examples of complex sentences with adjectival clauses. My aunt, who is a travel agent, will be making, taking me on a cruise next month. Janice is the girl whose sister is getting married this summer. Max, whom you met last night, is visiting from Michigan. The neighbor's dog is the one that barked all night. This summer, I'll be spending the week at Camp Winston, which was built last summer. Sometime adjectival clauses begin with where or when. In these cases, be sure to identify the word the subordinate clause modifies to determine whether it is an adjectival clause or an adverbial clause. Here's some examples. 
That building is the one where the fire started, which modifies one. Remember the day when I first came to Cottondale Middle School? Modifies the day. Again, these questions are going to be kind of different for everybody, so please just do your best to answer them. And if it is a type in, fill in the blank type of question, be sure that you use correct spelling and spacing as well as capitalization because it will mark it wrong if any of those are wrong. The circles mean you're just one answer. Any squares, which I have not seen yet, means you can choose more than one. Here is a match the clause to, the, to what is bolded. All right, and those are your questions. Please ask, ask, ask if you have questions on any of this. Let us know. You are doing a great job. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.